All right, so this is a second video I'm doing on how to locate a line, an underground utility. And this time we're gonna do some street lights. It is um, October 12th, 2018, and uh, about 11.43 a.m. at we're Saddleback College here in Orange County, uh, Mission Viejo to be exact. So, got a pretty big parking lot here, as you can see, with a bunch of um, lights, street lights. Um, again, I haven't located this. I wanted to do a spot where I don't know where the line is, so if I run into trouble, you know, you guys can see how I troubleshoot this. Um, and again, hopefully this goes well. Um, and we'll see how it how it works. Um, we're gonna do induction, which is using just the transmitter without any using the transmitter without any leads hooked up to it or a clamp. Uh, we'll talk about the clamp in another video. I can maybe use a clamp here today, but I think this video is just gonna be induction because with street lights, that's uh, that's gonna be the case most of the time. You're just gonna uh, you're not gonna have access to hooking up to the wire itself. You're just going to have access to um, the actual light pole. So you have to um, do induction in that case. So I see that there's some marks here. I'm not sure if that's where the line is. Um, they don't really look like normal marks to me, but uh, I'm going to take a guess. So whenever you're doing induction, depending on the brand that you're using, um, you have to put the transmitter down a certain way. So, in this case, with this VVAX Metrotech 5 watt transmitter, it actually tells you which direction to set the transmitter down when you're doing induction. Uh, so, if the line's going this way, like I think it is, this is how you should set your transmitter. If you set it like this, you're going to get absolutely zero signal on the line. It's got to be in line with the, with the underground utility. Another thing is the frequency is important. So right now we're on 8.19 kilohertz and it might work with, with this, but usually, especially with street lights, you've got to go higher. Um, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to go to right off the bat to 83.1 kilohertz and I'm going to give it two bars of power. It just makes it a stronger signal. Um, so hopefully that gets on to the line that you're trying to trace. So again, setting this here. By the way, you, I know a lot of people, just to make sure you get something on the uh, pipe itself or on the wire, you can set the transmitter on the actual pole like that because then you're pretty much guaranteed to put a signal on the line. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and do that. So set the transmitter there, make sure it doesn't fall while I'm locating. So again, level two, 83.1 kilohertz, and we're good to go there. I'm gonna grab my receiver. This is the VLOC3. Okay, yesterday we were using uh, the VLOC3 5000, today we're using the VLOC3 Pro. And I might talk about some of the differences in this video if they come up. Uh, there's not much difference except for the classic screen which is this screen here. Um, so that vibrating thing there is the warning telling uh, me that I'm too close to a signal because we're right next to the transmitter. And I'll talk about that maybe in a different video as well. So again, especially with induction, you want to walk away from the transmitter because that transmitter is putting out a signal uh, both underneath um, and up top. So it's shooting out a huge signal right now in front of me. So if I lift the receiver, you'll see how I'm getting a signal pointing towards the transmitter and nothing here. Okay, That's how you know you're too close to the transmitter. If you're getting nothing on the floor, first of all, let me try to find this line first. Nothing 
yet. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Omni antenna. I didn't talk about this Omni antenna in my last video, but and that's mostly because it, it's kind of hard to appreciate that antenna if you're unfamiliar with just the regular peak and null to begin with. Um, but just so you guys know, the Omni antenna allows you to locate a line without having to hold this receiver in any particular orientation. Normally, if you're in the peak mode, just like I am there, you have to hold the locator uh, perpendicular to the line, or sorry, parallel with the line to get a signal. If you're holding it, if the line's going this way and you're holding it this way, you're not gonna get any signal, so you might miss it. You've gotta be holding it this way in that peak mode. But if you're in the uh, Omni antenna, it doesn't matter. It'll still pick up the signal. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that to find this line. So there's that old mark, or somebody's mark, and that's where I'm getting a signal, okay? It's not a great signal, it's kind of weak. I'm at 91 dB, that's my signal strength. Remember, if you saw the last video, that number goes all the way up to 140, okay? Ideally, especially as, you know, the closer you are to your transmitter, you shouldn't have to bump that up too high to get a signal. So right now it's at 91 dB, and I'm barely getting uh, 22 milliamps, okay? And again, I'm probably too close to the transmitter, so if I lift this receiver up and I point at the transmitter, it's probably picking up just the transmitter at this point, so we're way too close to that still. So this looks like a pretty good signal. To me, it's a red bar graph, but it's a pretty um, quick response as far as me going from left to right. It's, it's not bouncing around. My depth looks somewhat reasonable. Um, now if I turn around, I'm going to do the same thing to make sure I'm not picking up the transmitter and I'm picking up my line. So here I'm getting a signal, as you guys can see. Now if I lift the transmitter or sorry, lift the receiver up, point at the transmitter, my signal died down. Whereas before, when I was too close, my signal actually went higher. So that means we're picking up something that's underground, not the, not the transmitter, okay? So this is far enough away where the transmitter is not uh, affecting my signal. So now that I've found the line, I'm going to change my uh, antenna to just peak. You could, you could leave it you know, on Omni if you wanted to, it's just my preference. I like to find it in the peak mode. And I see that I have a blue bar graph, so I'm going to check my peak and null to make sure that my null arrows are telling me where the line is as far as if it corresponds to my highest number. Remember that your highest number is always more accurate than these arrows, okay? Especially if you see a red, or yeah, a red bar graph. So in this case, my highest number and my arrows are confirming the same location, okay? That's how you should think of these arrows, or as a confirmation, not as a uh, actual location of your utility. Don't ever just rely on the arrows. Always go by your highest number and confirm with your arrows. So still picking up the line, it's actually a really good signal, surprisingly. I didn't think this was going to go well, but it's working. That's another thing you'll find with um, just locating in general. Sometimes you'll go to a job site and think that you're going to have an easy day because, you know, maybe it's a nice newly installed pipe, steel pipe in the ground or you know that somebody just put a trace wire in the line, but I've been on those where I just can't get any good signal for whatever reason. And then the opposite is true too. I've been on 
locations where I think it's going to be a tough day locating, but it just happens to be super easy. So it's really just luck of the draw when you're locating lines. So as you can see here, this uh, street light from where my transmitter is led me to this other street light here in this parking lot. So now here it is again. I could see somebody's marks there, those red marks. So it's coming this way and then also goes back this way apparently if those marks are correct and it looks like they are correct so another thing you guys have noticed probably is number one my bar graph turned red and also my signal died quite a bit so when your signal especially in direct or in induction where you're not connected to the actual line your signal strength is going to be pretty low especially if your um, line is connected to other lines. So every time it changes uh, or it transfers that signal to a different line, it loses some signal strength. So you're gonna have to gradually give your receiver more sensitivity to pick up the signal again. So I just hit my plus sign to give it more gain. And again, um, my bar graph is red, so I'm gonna go by the highest number, not by my arrows. And just to avoid any confusion, I'm going to just go to my peak mode, which is right there. 